Locally now and about 400 manufacturing jobs in the state's north are tonight in limbo. BHP Billiton has announced it's suspending production at its Temco manganese smelter. The plant will be shut down for three months while its future is reviewed. Workers at this Bell Bay smelter are facing an uncertain future. BHP Billiton has suspended production at the manganese alloy plant for three months. The union's absolutely shocked. The smelter's long-term future is under review. The company's blaming stiff international competition and rising costs. It's a stronger Australian dollar um, increases our cost when we sell our alloy in US dollars. And uh, you know, that's not helping our position with a, um, a low um, market for our alloy. Temco's promised to keep its 300 permanent staff employed during the shutdown. Uh, we have a backlog of uh, works, things like um, some of our maintenance backlog. Um, we'll be able to reallocate some of our production people to different tasks. But it's unclear how many of the 100 contract workers will be kept on. And we'll be sitting down with the contract partners and reviewing what support services we need through this period. There was no indication uh, that such a dramatic step would be taken by the company at all. The state's peak business body warns Temco's not the only exporter at risk. Now in Tasmania there are four or five other large organisations which are similarly uh, positioned. The Premier and Economic Development Minister are planning a trip to Canberra to raise the situation with the Prime Minister. To fight for the Tasmanian manufacturing industry and work with the federal government about a package so that we can protect jobs. We need to be able to look at what we can do at the national level and the state level to support these industries at this time. The plant is Australia's only manganese smelter. We don't want to speculate on what the future might or might not have. If these jobs were to go, um, the flow on multiplier effects would mean that there would be hundreds more jobs lost right across the community. A prospect the state can least afford. Brad Markham, ABC News.